try this again because, um, yeah, I had a technical difficulty. I had a technical difficulty. It happens. I was trying to do too many things at one time. Yup. So everybody that was over on the other one, because sometimes technology does not like me. It happens. Straight up, it happens. So yeah. It's just one of those things. See, I was trying to do 20 different things at one time and uh, it bit me. It bitted me. Copy with everybody. Paste, save, come over to here. Pop out chat, which is right there. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I don't know. I'm halfway. I'm halfway afraid to move the camera, so I'm going to move it back. Hopefully, it won't go too crazy on me. It's, it's seriously, you ever had just one of those days where nothing you do seems to like go right? Yeah, I know it's frozen. <laughs> I've got, I'm watching it right here. I know, I know. It's been one of those days. Jeez, man. Whoo. It's one of those days. Just makes me wonder why did I even go get out of bed this morning? I know we've had those, we all had those days, but man, that was crazy. I'm telling you. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm uh, gonna try to open up this can of uh, glue. So I'm working on another project doing another helmet build. And this helmet build was actually almost, I mean, it's like a request. So, and I rearranged everything. So now, like I put a shelf down here, so now I've actually got all my paints and everything organized. And I don't have everything just crammed in. Had to get a popsicle stick. Um, Hang on one second. Let me uh, let me get this uh, adhesive stirring up just to make sure that it's good. You know. Ugh. Uh, Comic Con at home. Um, well. I wasn't going to be able to make it to any of them, so <laughs> I guess home's good with me. Uh, I, You know, it's one of those things where it's... it. The 2020 is literally just like the, the worst year like ever, I think, as a whole. But let me go through. G-Man, Lisa, K-Man, Studio, Christian, One Man Toy Show. What's up, Tony? Nikki Six, Matias. JR26B. Uh, let's see, there's Chris, K Man, there's Bob. In the house. What's up, Tony? There's Martha. What's up? Ty. Um, actually, okay, so actually, uh, that's the second one I'm gonna be doing is actually a Wolverine helmet. I'm actually gonna make a Wolverine. But today, um, I, there was somebody I can't, and I apologize. I should know. What's up, Ren? What's up, Phyllis? Um, had reached out to me 
and I said, hey, why don't you make one of these helmets? Said, hey, why don't you make one of these helmets? So I was like, I? So I am making a Magneto helmet. I've already got some stuff cut out. So yeah, Magneto. Doing the old Magneto. But I do actually have a plan uh, for a Wolverine helmet. And funny thing is, my wife, there it is, she was using my heat gun the other day. And I was about ready to go, hey, where's my heat gun at? You were using it. And I forgot, we got a shelf now. <laughs> so I was looking in the drawer where I normally keep it. Wasn't in the drawer. It was on the shelf where we decided to put it. Uh, so yeah, so I've already got some pieces cut out. And uh, let me get my first class foam smithing device. Well, I thought we'd chat a little bit. I might, depend on the time. Uh, we actually had the grand uh, uh, granddaughter with us today or this afternoon. So I didn't really get, I didn't get a chance. I was actually gonna go a little earlier, but um, just because I was doing this. But you know, you gotta spend time with the grandkids, right? gotta do it yeah caveman i'm straight up i'm ready for some jumanji that's actually a really good analogy <laughs> that really is legitimately a good analogy legitimately it's uh living in the real world right now i don't even know anymore fourth of july wasn't bad honestly i um i slept quite a bit I caught up on some uh much needed rest you know destro yeah that would be a cool one so no, I did not. Here's the thing. She was down here with me earlier as I was cutting these pieces out because she really enjoys, you know, watching watching this thing. Um, uh, yeah, right here. The uh, And it's sitting right here on the floor, and it's funny. She didn't even notice it. And I was like, what? So I've still got it for a little bit. For a little bit, I don't. I don't expect to keep it much longer, though. I got a feeling that sooner or later, um, she will find it, and I'm just hoping that I, I'll be able to uh, remember how she stores it up in her bedroom, so that way when I sneak up there and get it and go do what I want to do with it, that. Uh, I put it back in the right space. Cobra Commander. Ah, that's right. Yeah, Dominic Pace. If you haven't che checked out Mr. Imagination's uh, interview video, check that out. It's pretty dope. So I figure I don't think I'm going to have to do a lot of heat forming with this one because I'm actually using the six millimeter phone, but I wanted just a just rough form it real quick. You know, just rough form it. Then I'll turn this an annoying hairdryer off. Watch the video, Ren, and you'll know. I'm telling you, the whole Jumanji thing, I've never thought about that, but that's actually a pretty good analogy. That or Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Something. All right, enough of that. Um, 
Yeah, Rin. What? <laughs> oh, Rin. He got you on that one, man. Got you on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's um, and I mean, it's like beating a dead horse, but man, they just uh, in in my hometown or not hometown but in, in uh, the county that i work in so we went to mandatory mass now um so yeah got that going on we've i mean we've had mass and stuff but uh, starting on friday it's pretty much mandatory you gotta wear one when you're out in public so that's gonna be interesting which i wear one every day anyway so it's no real impact to me, but um, it's definitely a uh, interesting world we're living in right now. Interesting world. So I don't know how well this thing's going to turn out, but you know, I thought, what the heck? Let's do one. Let's do a. And like I said, somebody, um, I wish I could remember who it was because it was just like a comment that I ought to do uh, a Magneto helmet. And I thought, you know what? That's not a half bad idea. It's not. I like good ideas. Good ideas are awesome. And this gives me an opportunity to... Uh, unwind and relax a little bit chill out and uh hang out with you guys don't get no better than that uh do you order your action figures from i've never ordered any from there kelby Um, I, yeah, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever ordered from them. So if you haven't noticed yet, um, I dropped part one of my, uh, review video. So the rest of this week, hopefully it won't disappoint too many people, but we're doing GI Joe review videos. So today was Duke, and then the rest are going to be um, later on, or the rest of the week. So I know uh, no no more hunt videos this week. I actually really wanted to um, put some. I wanted to give them fig, the the figures some really good you know time, some justice, you know. Um, Mama said, pop you out. What's up? Destro's. Okay, so here's the thing. And with my reviews, I mean, I try to be as honest as I possibly can. I mean, I, I, I find faults, and I have found faults with every single figure. You know? Every single figure, I have found faults. And the biggest problem I had with Duke, I'm not going to say, because if you haven't watched the video, you need to. <laughs> um, but I will say this in hand so much better than the glam shots so much better so much better um, yeah the red ninjas I missed out on them they're sold out on Hasbro they are sold out but again I wasn't really planning on I'll be honest with you. I was not really planning on getting into Joe's. Um, but like I said, the um, I've already had the Snake Eyes. I am drinking a pineapple Mahi ma, ma Burst Mountain Dew. My newest addiction. Um, but Snake Eyes, um, no, I'm not too picky. I'm not. I mean, like I said, my, my reviews are honest reviews and they're based on just observations. And 
like I said, I look at things, and, and this is probably my own issues, is I look at things, I, I try to put too much realism in it, which I know it's a toy, but when it comes to color, I'm, I'm really sort of like, I'm harder on things that I feel like could be painted better uh, than anything else. That's when I really get vocal. But a lot of the, there, there's actually some issues with the figures themselves that I noticed from an articulation point of view. So, yeah. The, uh, there are issues. Just saying, just saying. Sizzle, you watch my video tomorrow and you'll find out what I think about Scarlet. Just so you know, that's tomorrow's video. So yeah, the running order is, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you the running order because if you watch at the end of the video, I tell you what the next day is going to be. <laughs> I can't let out all the secrets. I mean, I could. But I ain't. <laughs> um, yeah, I get, I get the whole cartoon thing. I get the cartoon thing. I'm not complaining about the cart cartoon thing. But if you're gonna do cartoon, you don't you do cartoon top to bottom. That's my thing. If you're gonna do cartoon colors, you do them top to bottom. Don't just pick little pieces and cartoon them. That's that's when I have issues. Um But I mean, they're really cool figures though. I'm so if you look at the Ghostbuster figures, now granted, two different things. One's real people, one's a cartoon. Get it. Totally get it. But we did have G.I. Joe movies. Just saying. Um, you know, like the Ghostbuster figures, they are really, really, they're good looking figures. Paint, everything. You know, thanks, Jeanette. Um, so it's sort of like a well-balanced mixture of things. So... Um, that's a that's a valid point. That's pretty. Uh, that's a valid point. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I didn't. For me personally, here's the thing: there is only one GI Joe. Technically, in my opinion, he's twelve inches tall. He got kung fu grip. Just say. I never got into three and three quarter Joe's. Never. Of course, I never really got into anything three and three quarter. Um, but um, the six inch ones, they, they are looking good. And, and I think there's going to be a really cool thing with them. Yeah. I, here's the thing, Ren. So when I was looking at the glamour shots of Duke, he reminded me of Jonesy from Fortnite. But when I actually got the figure and looked at the head sculpt, I was like, wow, that's really cool. That's, that's, that's a good head sculpt. So, you can't always trust. Um, yeah, Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes is, is great. And like the two Destros, like, I'm not a, I'm a fan of the Destro that I picked up. I'm not a fan of the pimped out Destro. I'm not a fan of that one. That's just me, though. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, the same way with the two Cobra Commanders. You know, there's a like the normal one and the Regal one. I don't know if I'm really feeling any love for the Regal one yet. I, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I, I just, I don't dig it, you know? That's the beauty of collecting. That's the beauty of it. You know, it's like the normal, the, the regular Destro, I actually sort of dig it. That was the first one I actually wanted was the Destro with Snake Eyes. That was the only two originally I wanted. 
Well, that changed real flipping quick. <laughs> like real quick. So, uh, yeah. It's funny how we say one thing, but then when we start seeing things, we're like, uh, yeah. I'll sort of like that after all. And you know, here's the crazy thing, like, like the turtles, the uh, Davy Jones or Casey Jones. Um, I'm not a turtle guy, by no means. But that jacket is it. Here's how bad it is. Here's how bad I'm not looking for it. Um, who's with Casey Jones? Is it Raphael? But I will say this though. I'm really digging that that jacket. I'm digging that jacket, like digging it, like re re realistically. What's up? What's up, Clean Ninety Three? Doing good? I'm telling me, I know I'm buffering again. It's crazy too, man. I think I think honestly, I think it's because uh, I got too much going on upstairs. I think that's what it is. That's what I'm thinking anyway. That's my excuse. That's the one I'm going to use anyway. <laughs> I was actually going to do uh, do the live stream upstairs, and then I discovered uh, this idea today, and I thought, well, I'm not going to be gluing upstairs. Nope, ain't happening. Can't be gluing upstairs. That's a good point, Charlie. That's a very good point. Uh, Cause I know someone commented and asked about the, uh, you know, uh, snake eyes that came with this this way said, hey, you're going to get that one. I was like, well, I've already got a snake eyes. Why, why do I need the other one? You know, just saying, I already got one. I need to get rid of this big old can of glue and get me some little bottles. That's what I'm going to do this weekend. So my, my five-year-old granddaughter came down today and uh, she saw my Joker figure and she's like, uh, you need a Harley Quinn, or then she corrected herself. She goes, no, I so I gotta go find her Harley Quinn. I'm telling you, just saying. Oh my God, the flag. That here's all right, so here. You guys, let me know what you think about this. It might be just me, but my big thing, and this is worth three and three quarter is like the best is because there's always vehicles and I wish they would do some vehicles like, all right, so like, let's take this new GI Joe. No, let's, let's take, um, let's take the new Ghostbuster one, right? Echo one. I mean, you don't got to make a bunch. That's just one vehicle. Uh, the, the GI Joe's, you don't need to go crazy. Just a just like a Jeep or something. Just something. That's the thing that I wish six inch would uh, really get better at is vehicles. Because I like the I like vehicles. And like, you know, I've seen a lot of people taking that scoop van, you know, and disassembling it and uh, creating their own their own thing out of it, which is great. I mean, I mean, straight up legit. That is great. But I don't. And I mean, I, I know that we would wind up having to pay a crap ton of money for them. But I think I think all of us would wouldn't mind buying Firehouse. That's that's another that's another good one right there because you know they did the NECA uh, street diorama. So you could almost use something 
you could almost use it or something similar to it and just create a firehouse scene. It don't even have to be the whole thing. It could just be the front of the firehouse. And I guarantee you, everybody that is into the Ghostbusters would buy that in a heartbeat. A heartbeat. I don't even have the Ghostbuster figures, and I'd probably buy it just because it'd be a cool diorama piece. So, just saying. Yeah, Chris, there you go. A lot of people's been doing it, and I've seen some really good, some, I mean, there's been some really good designs that people have, uh, have created using that van. Um, so there's, there's options. There's definitely options out there. Yeah, but when you think of, so when you think about vehicles in, in Ghostbusters, that's the one you think of, though. You know, that's legit the one you think of. But the firehouse would probably be a better. I think you'd get more bang for your buck with the firehouse. I think you could have more fun with it. I think you could do a lot more from a photography point. I know you could from a photography point of view. That's that's like straight up no no brainer there. I didn't know that, Chris. Like I said, I'm not really too much into the Ghostbusters. I mean, I love the movie. I love all the movies. I've just never really, I've just, I, it just doesn't fit my particular style. But based on what I've seen in the box, you know, from the, the boxes, the figures look like they're legit on point. Now I know Ren, you've got you've got them, I do believe. Um, and I mean, I don't think anybody'd be disappointed by having them. Yeah, that is that is a good that that is a good head sculpt. See, that's the thing I look at. That's the thing I enjoy so much about collecting. And, it, and whether it be with action figures, you know, six inch, even three and three quarter here lately, um, hot toys, whatever, I don't care what it is. I really just like the head sculpts. I like what they come up with. I like how they, I don't know. It just, it amazes me. Amazes me. Well, there was that other Ghostbuster movie. You know, there was that other one. Gluing, we are gluing. <laughs> Didn't like that one. Didn't like that Ghostbuster movie. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We gotta give it a little bit of love. Just a little bit. Just a little. It was different. <laughs> it was it was definitely different. But the original, that's that's my favorite. The original's always been my favorite. Um I'm really, it's, to me, when you do sequels, it's really hard to do sequels good, you know? And I can be a little snooty when it comes to sequels. It's like, so like one, one of the biggest sequel, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say failures for me was all the Jaws sequels. The original, great. From the rest of them, 
Nope. You lost me. You lost me quick. Can't do them. The best sequels, in my opinion, was the Lord of the Ring, the trilogies, because they, in case y'all didn't know this, they filmed all of them at the same time, which that's what made them great, in my opinion, was, you know, there wasn't no breaks, and they just, like, they filmed all three movies and just knocked them out. It wasn't, I mean, I, I just couldn't do it. I mean... Cause here's the thing, I there's only one Jaws. You got the OG Jaws, you know. He got wiped out at the end. Story case closed. You're done. Move on. Fox Crown, what's up? Thank you so much for that. Wow, that's awesome. Um. But again, it's just one of those things. Oh my God. All right, so the Greg Cook Toy Hunter. Hey, y'all. Thank you. Jeez, I was wondering how long it take for that one to come back. Been a while, been a hot minute. <laughs> I don't think I'd be chatting when I'm sitting here talking. Gotta love the gotta love the trolls. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, that's I mean, you know, people's bored. They gotta do some stuff. That's right, Ren. There's only one of me. World can't handle no more than one of me. <laughs> can't do it. Nice. Good job. Yeah, I, I, the wireless mics, I love the wireless mics. They are really, really great. They uh, they have their purpose in life. <laughs> I don't know, seriously, I don't know if the world can handle more than one of me. I don't know if people around me can handle more than one of me. I don't know. I truly don't know. As soon as I get us, so, so I'm going to try my best. I was going to do a video on it, but I think I might open it up because I really want to photograph this bad boy. <laughs> you know what surprised me? And I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. They didn't make anything. Did they make anything toy related for the female Ghostbusters movie? I, I mean, pops, figures, anything. And I truthfully don't know. They did. Oh, they did. Okay. I, I literally didn't even notice it. So, apologies for the. Um, for that franchise for me not noticing. Um, man, we got 44 people in here, 44. But, uh, so yeah, here's this little bad boy right here. This thing, that head sculpt is dope. What's up, Austin? Legitimately on point. Articulation is probably going to be like, but I don't care. The head sculpt. No, it didn't make no sense, Chris. No, didn't make no sense. And again, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, you know, anti-jaws. I just, I just think there's certain movies that need to end when they end and just be done with it. He's had it, sold it out the door. <laughs> yeah, now I'm trying to, like I said, I'm, um, I just, I, just, I, I want to photograph that thing so bad, so bad. Like, legitimately. 
scalper line. <laughs> Never happened. All right, I got to stand up for this one. I got to stand up for this one. I'm trying a new technique. I don't know uh, how well this technique will work, but um, watch the video on this. <laughs> Imagine that. I watched the video. <laughs> and I thought, well, heck, man, that's that's pretty that's pretty flipping smart. I need to try that because that makes life easier. I could show you what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting this helmet together, this side piece. The video I saw where I normally put them together, like hold them, he said, put it flat down on a surface, a flat surface and squeeze it in. And that should make your outer seams better. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it. And so far, it's not, uh, it's not too bad. We're gonna find out when I flip it over. Now that I flip this back up, I'm gonna sit down. Cause I'm at that point where I, I can't do that part no more. I just gotta do it this way. Cause I gotta press up and stick at the same time to get that seam even at the bottom of the helmet. Then they said, flip this side out, and that'll press the seams in, which it does. Man, learning things, people. We're learning things. That's what I'm talking about. I love learning things. Learning things is awesome. Like legit awesome. Now I can stand up and hit him. Uh, no, Charlie, this is a Magneto. This is Magneto's helmet. It's the one I'm gonna try to do. Uh, like I said, somebody made a comment and said, hey, people. So I've done a little research and I bought the pattern. And now I'm making it. So I will say this, this side is going together a whole lot better because I was positioned correctly for this one. All right, so now let's flip it. Flip it inside it. And when you flip it in like this, so it puts the outside seam, it presses it together really, really snugly. Snugly. Um, uh, actually, uh, are you talking about this piece right there? I already got it traced out. I haven't cut it out because honestly, I didn't plan on um, adding that piece tonight. So, so my big plan for tonight was basically, I'm gonna try to get both halves together and then I'll work on the other piece uh, throughout the week. I haven't decided how I'm gonna paint it yet. So the dude that made this pattern, he painted his, I think it was like the red and purple. Um, parts of me thought about doing a metallic paint because I'd really like to try some of that aluminum paint to see what it looks like. I'm open, up, I'm open for suggestions uh, as far as paint goes. If you guys uh, wanna throw some ideas out there, I'd, I'd love to hear them. Ooh, the Cyclops visor, that would be a good one. So I don't know. Um, 
parts of me does like the idea of doing the the metallic -y or the uh, the metal tones. I'm having a hard time deciding. I think that's the reason I'm not really rushing it. Silver and black, okay. So like, do the whole helmet. Let me ask you this, Charlie. Do the whole helmet silver, and then do this maybe this ornament piece in black, or do the helmet in black and do the ornament piece in silver. And that's another beauty of this stuff too. Uh, this is the Magneto helmet. I was telling everybody earlier that someone had su had asked, suggested, why don't I make a Magneto helmet? And I thought that was a really good idea. And I found one and we're cutting it out and putting it together tonight. Well, was it you, Jeff? Good, good, good suggestion, my friend. Hey, and like I said, I found, and then I found a Wolverine helmet. Uh, well, Jeff, I appreciate that suggestion. And as you can see, I listened. I heard you, my man. I heard you. Um, but I also got uh, OG red and purple. Okay. Okay. Ornament silver, helmet black. Okay. Ornament, ornament silver, helmet black. Okay, okay. Um, but I do have a Wolverine helmet that I'm gonna try to make. And this one's got the big ears. Big ears. I think it'll look dope. I really, truly do. Uh, Gambit? I, this, he wears like a... What the, what, is, what would you call that thing that he wears? It's not a cowl. He does wear something, though. Red and purple. Red and purple was the way the guy did his, and it actually looked good. It does look good. This is going to be, and I think that's the reason why I'm not in a big, huge hurry on this one because um, I, I do want the paint. You know, I want it to look good. You know, yeah. It's like it's, it's like isn't isn't it like a headband or something? It comes down like a chin piece, something like that. It's very unusual. Very unusual. All right, I promise. Mr. Teal, if I have, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I appreciate that, but I don't know. Um, so once I get this glued up, then I'm going to put the two halves together, and then hopefully we'll be able to open up that figure. Hopefully. Uh, like I said, I planned on going live about 6.30. But, uh, you know grandkids you know gotta spend time with family look i don't care i'm i'll be 56 this year that's right 56 um family first that's right you gotta spend time with your kids you gotta spend time with your grandkids you know they need your attention just like everybody else does. And, you know, that's just the way I roll. Double nickel plus one. That's right. Yeah, I can't say I can't say I'm an officially posted speed limit anymore. I actually sort of enjoyed that. How old are you? I'm an officially posted speed limit. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, let me, I got some uh, pretty cool news uh, I want to share with you guys. So, you guys have seen the couple of magnet fishing videos I've, I've done. Uh, the folks out at Brute, Brute Magnetics, um, their marketing people actually um, checked out some of my photography and have reached out to me and have commissioned me to... Uh, do some promo shots for their website, which I'm really excited for. 
we're going to start things out with like one kit and uh, do some promo shots, see, see if they like them. And if they do, then I will be doing the photos for their website, which I'm really stoked over that. Really happy with that. So yeah, that's uh, that was some really exciting news when they reached out to me with that. I was, I was, uh, I was actually sort of blown away because, you know, they just reached out to me on their own, and of course, you know, I I bought my magnets from them and stuff like that, and I tag them on the post and this and that because, you know, lo number one, it's a local company, and number two, they got great products. And number three, I got glue where I didn't need to get any glue. <laughs> so uh, when their new product comes in, they're going to uh, send it to me and I'm going to do some product shots. And if they like them, then, uh, and they sell a huge amount of different kind of magnets. Uh, they even sell hobby magnets, which is uh, for us, when we uh, do dioramas and stuff, those little hobby magnets can come in handy. I, I've looked, I've just now started looking at them because when I reached out and got a magnet from them, it was all about magnet fishing. I wasn't really thinking hobby. And, uh, but they've got a big selection. So if you need any kind of hobby or craft mag uh, magnets, head over to Brute Magnetics dot com and uh man they they got them they got a bunch of them all right second coat second coat second coat of glue is on so let me get this thing get this old popsicle stick out of here get it out get this thing sealed back up and hopefully We can get a figure open. Sorry for the noise. Just gotta get your cans sealed. Booyah. I don't need that no more. Clean up my mess. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually that's actually a pretty good idea. Where when I go magnet fishing. All right, we're waiting on glue to dry. We might as well crack open the seal on this bad boy. Right? Let's get this thing out of the box. Harold Green, what's up? I need to save that because I like something there. All right, boom. All right, let's see here. Get that out. Get these out. Make some noise. Get my little. Oh, did your snow speeder come in? Awesome. It looks great. I don't know if I, I don't think I will ever personally own that, but it looks great. Man, that's noisy. All right, first and foremost, we got the old uh, Pistolero right there. Not bad. It's got some decent detail on it. I do like the fact that it's not all silver and it actually has a black grip. That's awesome. These are really cool. These um, these teeth that it comes with. These actually look really good. They got some, I mean, for something so small, they got some really good detail to them. I mean, that's that's legit 
I literally just reached down and tried to turn. Uh, I literally thought about turning that to, to uh, wind him up. But check, I mean, that is so cool looking. Colors match perfect. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. That's actually some good art shoulder articulation. Oh, look at this. This thing's actually bending. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, that that's a legitimately good arm pose. I mean, that is great. Wow. Wow is like... Okay, so here's the thing. Look at this. They literally flush up with each other. Now explain to me why every other figure that has these kind of joints can't do this. That's insane. I don't expect much from the hips. Um, I was completely wrong. <laughs> wow. 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 All right, here we go. Knees. Guys, come on. Does it get any better than that? I have not found the blue cape variant yet. That does not get any better than that. Right, he can kick his own butt. I mean, all joking aside, I mean, check this out. Hang on real quick. Let's see if I can do this. Whoa! That's crazy. I mean, because like when McFarlane figures, like, uh, I mean, with the Call of Duty figures and stuff, I mean, they don't. Oh. But that's that. And they're not, here's the crazy thing. They're not like crazy tight. Or let me correct myself. They're just tight enough. But that head sculpt right there, that is so flipping cool. What is that? Um, yeah, let me look here. Let me look. Hang on. I'm trying something here. Oh yeah, I'm pre-posing him for the pose I want. Right there, boom. Oh, I need to move that hand back. There we go. There it is, right there. Look at that pose. Boom. They have come. They, they have come a long way. They they have, but that one right there, I have to admit, is that's pretty legit. All right, I can't let this glue dry too long, so let me flip this back right side out. Let's get this thing. Let's see if I can get this thing put together and at least we'll have we'll have the um, we'll have the helmet sorted together. Let's come together right now. You and me. I'm gonna try it this way again. I don't know if it'll work or not doing it like this. But we're gonna try it anyway. What's the worst possible thing that could happen? I mess up a few hours worth of work. I mean, that's legitimately the worst thing that could happen, right? I could just mess up this whole thing. I have to start over. Ooh, come on. Oh, uh, let go of my finger. The glue was getting me. Another tip that I, I read today was use wax paper underneath. And I've never thought about doing that. Oh, I'm with you. It's just, uh, like I said, sometimes the, the articulation is not what, it, what we think it should be. We're coming together. The two halves are meeting in the middle. And what I'll do is once I get this thing together, I'm probably gonna turn it 
ups, uh, inside out and let it fully cure so, so that top seam is tight. That's why I wasn't really in a big, super huge hurry to try to get the whole thing done tonight. You know, don't want to don't want to rush. Hey, what's up, Doc? We're uh, building a helmet. I just opened up my Joker figure, which I'll show it again here in just a minute. I just wanted to get this helmet, the two halves glued together. seen this done before. I don't want to do that. I'm not that brave yet. I'm not that brave yet. I saw one guy, when he gets to a certain point on these halves on the helmets, he actually uh, does the very bottom and then lets everything come up and meet. And I'm not that brave yet. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, brother? So, yeah, some things I'm a little on the skeptical side until I actually get a little bit better at this stuff, which I'm slowly getting a little better. Slowly. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. We got the helmet together. All right. Let's see if it fits my big old head. Booyah. I still got a heat form it. Still got a heat form it. Not bad. Not bad. I'm happy with it. Magneto, yes. And once I put the trim piece on, that's going to stiffen it up a lot. Thanks, Jeanette. Look at there. We built a helmet. We built a helmet. Let me see if I can... It actually could be a Spartan helmet, too. Let's see if I can get that to go in a little bit more. All right. My ears. Get that heat formed a little bit more. Not bad for literally just like we built this during the live stream. So I don't think that's too bad. But you can use the same pattern for a Spartan helmet too. So like I said, I need to heat form it a little bit more. There we go. Get that thing on down there. I could just like leave it on my head like this for like a day or two and it would like form. <laughs> there we go. Boom. That's, that's wicked cool. Wicked cool. And then like I said, the, the, the piece, once I get this piece on here, this will actually uh, bring everything together a little bit more. So I just need to get that cut out and get that added. Heck yeah. I don't know. You guys tell me. It's not bad. Like I said, this the, the cool thing about this design is you could actually use it for a medieval helmet. 
But I'm I'm digging that. That's that's wicked cool. Yeah. And back to Joker. Look at that. Is that not see that's a good looking pose right there. Where's my where's my thing? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Where's my face at? Oh. So the first photo I'm going to do of him will probably be in that pose. That pose right there. I think that's the winner. I think that's the one that we're going to do. For right now, though, I'm going to put him on his stand so I can check him out a little bit more. Rocketeer, that, that, I like the Rocketeer movie. Oh, all right, so articulation. All right, right here. Boom. Check us out. Wah. 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 We have great outer joint articulation. But that, to me, was not the thing that blew me away the most. This is what blew me away the most was that forearm to bicep touching what's up and calf to hamstring touching that's crazy good articulation uh going forward on the hips not a lot but that's still not bad I uh, don't know if I will. I have the one that was uh, so kindly gifted to me by his and her pops. There's the uh, back articulation. Not a lot going forward. Like, but you could actually get him in a, you could get him in a seated pose. So if you had like a little, little chair, I mean, you could get him in a seated pose. Get him, get him skipping. Get him in a, uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let me see if I can do it, do it properly. Little, 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 little dynamic action right there. Well, I mean, you know. That's that's pretty cool. Check this out. Let me get this stand back because I can't. I'm gonna see if I can do it with him on his uh, on his stand. Oh yeah, you could so do that. All right, there on the stand. Oh wait a minute, says all weird. Right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. That actually is not a bad looking, that's actually not a bad looking pose. That's actually pretty cool. Let me, uh, let me do this real quick. Um, he comes with this pistol right there. Oh man, Anthony, he, brother, you don't got two man, it's all good. I just heard thunder. All right, so. There we go. Boom. Oops. Not, not bad. This is a good looking figure. This is really a good looking figure. I'm, I'm glad I got it. But now I got to get a Batman for him. So. I don't need to because what I want to photograph with him, it's actually more of a solo stuff, so I don't really need a Batman. But I wouldn't mind having uh, – I, I want to see the blue cape Batman. But, but yeah, that's it. Look, guys, we, we, we started and finished the base for Magneto. We unboxed the Joker in an hour. And I messed up their first live stream, had to do another one. So it's been, it's been a productive hour.
Get the Joker car. Ooh. Ooh. See you, Ren. Ooh, needs a Harley. That's a good one. Crowbar to Robin on the ground. All right, one more time before we end the stream. I'm going to show you guys this helmet. Then I'm going to try to flip it inside out and let it sit. But there we go. The beginnings of my Magneto helmet. Not bad. Not bad at all. The really fun part is going to be trying to flip it inside out. Let's see if I can actually do that. I've never tried to do a full helmet flip. So uh, we're witnessing history right here. But I'm hoping I can get the whole thing flipped inside out because that would definitely make everything uh the top seems actually a lot better oh ho, ho. maybe maybe oh ho, ho. we did it She's completely flipped inside out. Yes. So now I can let this thing sit for all, all night tonight, tomorrow. These seams will get good and tight. And uh, yeah, boom. Voila, completely inside out now. But that's, uh, guys, I think that's going to be it for the live stream. I think we're done. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I've already done some uh, with, with uh, Mr. Crank. I haven't posted that in a couple of days, but I've, I've already took some more. Um, we'll be spreading them out on Instagram and stuff, but, yeah, I've already been doing some of that. Heck, yeah. But guys, appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. Sorry for the mess up on the first stream. Um, yeah, that was all, that was all me. But um, guys, appreciate you so much for hanging out with me on a Tuesday night. Thanks for all the support with the channel. Like I said, we just hit 11K, which, geez, man, it just blows my mind. Every time when I look at that, it just blows my mind. Um, I'm so thankful for all of it. Thankful for all of you because without you, I would not have anything YouTube related because it's all because of you. Um, not yet, Charlie, but uh, we'll be going live again on Saturday. Hopefully by Saturday, I'll have the piece on the front. Um, I've already done a standing on the Lone Wolf uh, yesterday. I've added a little bit more filler. I've got another sand job on that. Hopefully, that bad boy will be primered one last time and then have the uh, first coat of aluminum put on it. But it's starting to thunder. You never know what that means when it comes to power. So, guys, hope you all have a great rest of the night. Hope you have a great rest of the week. And always remember, toys, even the Joker, will refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.